Now we're going to jump into the run. So, for the Angriest Prince run, we are going to do uh, Standard Prince. We're going to do... Um, I think Restore is probably still better. Uh, although, Root Seeds would allow us to draw through our deck faster. You know what? We're going to do Root Seeds. The, the, it's kind of a tough choice because Restore is also incredibly good as a way of um, keeping your Prince alive. At the same time, Root Seeds is just really good at helping you draw through your deck. And we're going to re-roll. We're going to re-roll specifically for Sharpen. I think it's hard to make the build work if you don't start with Sharpen in your opening hand. So we're just going to go with that and try to do this whole spike-oriented build. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, uh, Sharpen is a common. So you're going to get two of them when you get them. And then, of course, like, if we can super luck out with something like uh, Welder Helper or Fledgling Imp, that would also be sick. But uh, you don't necessarily need that with the Spike build. Okay, there we go. We have Sharpens, March of Shields, Ritual Battle. Like, all fantastic stuff. And now we just need Wrathful. Fantastic. We have Temperant, which is probably the best Seraph you can you can hope for with the Wrathful Prince. We get Mark of a Champion, which just gives him extra damage. Like this is this is about everything you could ask for. The question is, do we take that over Lost Luggage? And it's a tough choice. Lost Luggage is very very good. Hmm. So we can get early um, sharpens onto our Prince. What do we take here? Both are really, really good, to be honest. It's tough. The reliability of the early damage versus the reliability of drawing, like, your whole deck. Also, I accidentally took restores, but it's fine. I think both are fine. Let's go with Lost Luggage. I think getting the Sharpens out early is going to be really valuable. And my goal is to dupe, so get the Sharpens down to zero cost, like here. We'll go right path, get at least one Sharpen to zero cost, and then we want to dupe that zero cost Sharpen as many times as we can, while also taking other stuff. So let's go. Um, I'm not going to take an early artifact here. I think we need to be very cautious with early shards. Um, I also don't think we need to take this trial. Okay, so what we're going to do is try to stack up the Prince early. We're going to go one, two, three. Would love to be able to get that Collector. It's not going to happen, unfortunately. Just unfortunate with where things landed here. Uh, a single torch gets us the kill. A second torch actually allows us to kill it with the prince himself, which is even better. We can heal up a bit as well. So now we have enough to kill both the front and middle units with the prince, which is very solid. We can heal him up a bit, and we can self-torch just to get him scaling a little bit faster. Do one of these, one of these. And this should be a very, very easy kill here. Yeah, not even going to get really touched. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, so. First fight, very solid. Welder Helper is fantastic. It's exactly what you want. And... I'm going to skip here. I don't think we need Razor Sharp Edge. The, I want the thinnest deck possible because I just want my Sharpens to be zero. If we can get a minus two right now, we can't... We can double stack. I'm just thinking. Hail Mary man. Thank you for the subscription. Hope you enjoy the stream. I think we're going to do it like this. I think we're going to go make this sharpen free. 
I think we're going to take a risk here. Uh, Demon Fiend is too expensive. Branded Warrior is pretty good. I'm going to actually take the Demon Fiend, even though he's unplayable right now. I'm going to use him as a merge onto something else. I'm going to put... This is insane. I'm going to put Spell Chain on Sharpen with the expectation that later on I will get a minus two. Now that's a that's certainly not guaranteed at all, but that would be the hope here. Uh, extra damage is probably okay. Okay, so we can go one, two, three. One, two. We can probably torch you as well, just so we don't get Ember Drain. And I think we're already doing enough damage. I think if we self-torch, we get there. Give you some armor. And I don't think we need to heal that much. This guy's gonna do, what, five damage to our Pyre? It's not the end of the world. We'll be able to kill the next ones without any problems at all. We can just use a straight-up ritual of battle here, which is sick. Uh, get another... Let's use that one. Crushing the boss. Um, yeah, taking five higher damage out of all that. Not bad. I don't want a second Welder Helper on it. I want uh, something else. To merge onto it, if anything. We might not even put anything onto it. Yeah, we'll skip here. Another Sharpen. That's fantastic. And Animus of Will. It's exactly what we wanted. So now we can uh, potentially increase capacity and fit a big fat Animus of Will on the floor. To help do cleanup. Minus two. Oh, you love to see it. It's so good. Okay, let's uh, merge Demon Fiend onto Animus of Will. Big, fat Animus. And we don't necessarily have to play them on the same floor. I'm tempted to just make this the biggest Animus of all time and use it as, like, its solo floor with cleanup. I think I might actually do that. As insane as that sounds, I actually think that's legitimately good. <laughs> Times five. Nope, didn't get it. Uh, but we can merge two Sharpens to get a Super Sharpen. <laughs> Alright, how are we rolling here? Uh, we can go for this. We're going to get 10 armor per slay, which outpaces the amount of damage that we're taking. Um, I do want to get Big Fat Animus out. At the same time, I think we can be patient here and just stack up. Like, we're going to kill everything. Heal back up a bit. Just look at that. Absolutely crushing. Can do one of these for sure. Extra. Extra. Uh, this guy's a real jerk. Hopefully, we should get the, uh, we should get the Animus of Fiends out relatively soon. Let's get you out. And you here to die. And just do a little heal. I mean, worst case scenario, we take three damage. But I'm hoping that we get the Animus out. We got him. Animus just crushes here. And we can just play the strain screwed out as well. And we're just gonna blow out Daedalus. Does not have a chance. Get wrecked. Spreading spores. Oh my gosh. Do we take it? 
I don't think the regen's good. Actually, I think we're fine. I think spreading spores would be a liability at this point. And right now, you know, I'm just going to go all in on draw. We have a very low cost other than the... Um, we do have some things that cost a lot, but for the most part, we have a fairly low cost deck. I'm going to keep duping the super sharpen, I think. Because you need a whole freaking lot of spikes to make this work. Let's yeet the stewards. And we're going to just roll like this for a little bit longer. Extra wrathful, extra flavor. Let's go. Spell Shield 2 is probably fine. We do need to worry a little bit about uh, whether we can get enough shards in time or enough spikes in time. So I'm thinking let's go middle top. And a little self torch. 11 plus 5. Should get us there to kill the front unit. So, like, what if we do 56? That's after the heals. Is this enough? That's going to add 8 spikes, getting it to 20, plus 8 damage. This should kill the front unit, which means we almost don't take any damage. Now these guys should get burst out pretty easily, at least the front one. And uh, Animus of Will still just going to crush. We can do one of these, do a heal. Okay, we can get even more. Oh my gosh, we're so close to killing that guy. Okay. Are we there yet? Excellent. We got there. And you're still killing? Like, this is working out. This is working out. Considering we're at 75 shards right now. Like, this is going... Oh my gosh. He's going to be doing 13 damage. It's certainly going to be a trip to try to get enough damage out here. But I still believe... I still think we actually kill him. It's it's close. How about now? It's even closer. Is the is the extra rage enough or is it the march of shields and sharpen? Let's do some math. Let's do some math. So, we have 25 plus 53. 78 minus 13 minus 13. Okay, that's 1. Minus 13, minus 13. That's 2. Minus 13, minus 13. We would get a full extra hit with an March of Shields. Okay, just kidding. We're still killing. Doesn't matter. Extra extra damage and spikes did it. Monster. <laughs> the uh, train steward gets the kill. Um, I don't really think we need any of this. There's a Pyre Shards. I, I thought, again, I don't think we really want any of this. Okay, we don't need unit upgrades, however... Oh, actually, no, yes, we do. We want one more on the Animus, and we still want Endless on the Imp. So let's yeet out the other two Train Stewards. Um, I think we just want Improved Firebox. That's, like, really, really good combined with uh, Lost Luggage. There's our Endless. We could put extra health and spikes on you, but that seems kind of bad. We want another... Oh, okay. Multi-strike is fine. And I think we're good. Uh, we can continue. We will uh, dupe again. And go to the caverns, I think. Well, I don't know. We could go right path, remove two more... Get another Merchant of Magic to reduce the cost of other spells. Then go left again. And then go left at the end. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Um, Non-boss enemy units get 6. These guys are going to do 12 each. He gains 15 each. It's pretty sketch, but I think we're okay. 
Okay, sometimes they do 18. Um, let's get everything out. So it's going to be loss, gain, and then depends on if we kill him. Certainly not guaranteed that we kill the backliner. Okay. Uh, we could go one. If I move you to the front, we actually gain armor. And we get the kill, and you will still be able to kill this guy. Sick. Okay, you play this. You play this. And we're looking really solid right now. You can torch the end. Good stuff. Play him back out. Torch him again. And heal. I think we're still killing the top floor. We are. Can do one of these, can do this. I still would definitely rather kill the overcharged tank, I think. And we can restore a bit of HP. Okay. Do one of these. Torch you. And... I mean, we can heal for whatever. I think we're good. We're doing 149. Yeah, we're solid. So far, so good, guys. The real trick is going to come at the end with Divinity, and it's going to require us to yeet most of our cards out of our deck. Hey, Bramble Lash! Um, Bramble Lash might be necessary. I think I'm going to try to go without it. It's a little scary, uh, and what we want to do now is thin the deck. We have one, two, three, four Sharpens. Next, okay, we'll still, we don't have any more train stewards. I think the next things to go are probably, it's probably the rituals of battle, because the restores are still kind of playable and kind of useful. The rituals are just too hard to play, they're too expensive. Uh, we can minus one on a sharpen. What do we get here? Yeah, none of that. Um, keep going. I think we can make you free. I actually really like stack stone on this one. It gives us an, an instant 16 spikes. Hard to pass that up. Especially if we can get it in the opening hand. Which, the, the thinner that we make the deck, the more likely it is that it'll show up in the opening hand. Which is like the best time for it to show up. This is one of the best times to have the uh, prince here he's going to absolutely crush this fight just don't accidentally play your spikes on your imp and you're fine just get completely wasted my friend okay um i think i'm going to prioritize super sharpen here uh, health is not a problem for us. Are you spells? You're days. Okay, great. Um, I think we can justify just kind of pumping up the numbers here. Again, just pump up the numbers. That extra rage is going to do a lot more than the two extra armor would, so... Keep going. And then this guy just does cleanup. We probably should be putting the heals onto the Animus now that I think about it. Okay. Um, we can play you. And we won't actually uh, kill it yet because we don't want to have the Scourge. Look at this. 64, 68, 72 spikes. Not bad. 
Now, obviously, the thing that would take this completely over the edge is if we get uh, the multiple or the, the spike multiplier. If we can get spike multiplier, like, we're in heaven. Actually got him. Look at that. He's dying to spikes. Boom. Solo Arcus. That is definitely a Worn Horns Tome. Yeah, we take it. Um, it's getting real, guys. It's getting real. There's a there's a definite a definite chance we can make this work. All right, so we're gonna eat out. I think at this point. Probably the restores, because we can still use the torches to kill the Welder Helper. We have to make One Horn's Tome playable as well. Oh man. Minus two... ...on you. Pretty valuable. Just makes it even more playable. I mean, I'd love to be able to remove Consume. It's never going to happen. So we're going to do... Make you... T you know, make you free. And then... Make you minus one. And give you Permafrost. That should be the best setup for us. Okay. All in on Angriest Prince. He's going to have Multi-Strike. Like, we, we have the pieces to maybe make this work. 20 armor is a lot of armor. And it's purifiers. But I'm gonna try it. I think we can get enough spikes to maybe make this work. We might be able to literally kill with spikes in the opening. Let's see. There's four, eight, 12, 16 doubled. Oh my gosh, we're killing the backliner. Can you believe it? Let's get you here. Let's pump up your damage a little bit. Heal you back up to full. Okay. Um can do one of these. One of these. And honestly, I feel like getting as much damage on you as possible is more valuable. Okay. Good stuff. This guy is going to... He's going to make it. Like, that's life. The first leak of the game. I'll accept it. Um, I think you need to heal up a bit. And we can expand your damage just a pitch. Okay, we have to play the One Horns Tome. Like that. And we do get some leaks, but it's not too bad. Two hits there. I think one hit on the next one. No, two hits on the next one. You're dead. 208. You're very close to dying, but still not quite there yet. Can we get you... We can't get you to 250. Um, okay. This guy's not going to make it to the pyre anyway. We can heal you, give you a torch. Sustain is not a problem for us. We have more than enough sustain on our guy. We can heal you back up a bit, and we killed him anyway. And get wrecked. Like, not even close on the boss. But leaks, I mean, this is what we were worried about. Leaks are a problem. We are... The problem is, where do we play the prince? This is the question. So, Impish Scholar... If you merge the Impish Scholar onto... Hmm, we can't merge him. I don't think we want to play him either. Skip and skip. 
And now the question is, do we dupe? Duping would mean we would probably dupe One Horn's Tome. Or the Nexus Spike, but probably One Horn's Tome. If we get spell upgrades and removal, honestly, I think we just go left, dupe the One Horn's Tome. And... Oh wait, but we need enough shard. We need enough charge deck. Oh, we can just take the Divine Boons. Yeah, yeah, Divine Boons gets us to, to 100. So let's go left path, take the heal, dupe the One Horn's Tome. Oh, One Horn's Tome dupes for 10 anyway. Let's see what we get. Unbroken Horn. Pr Crucible. Okay, so you're saying there's a chance. Um, I think removing the restores has more value than probably anything else we can do. I'm just thinking about it. If we remove the restores... And maybe a, a single torch. Okay, we can't remove anything else. Unless we take the money. If we take the money, we can remove a torch. I'm gonna do it, because I think the thinner that our deck is, the better. More likely we're gonna get an insane opening hand. I don't think there's anything we'd put on the uh, imp. Let's go. Do you believe, guys? Do you believe? Okay. I think we go middle top. Just to get ourselves some extra armor. Because right, he's going to get exactly... So 15 is not bad. Oh, we go 1, 2, this, this, this. This, 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 and kill. Okay, very close, but we are gonna pull through here. Play that, play that, play that. And we're gonna chill, because I think we need the other One Horn's Tome relatively soon. Got him. Okay, one horn stone. Fantastic. And I think now we're just crushing. Unlimited sustain, unlimited damage, the angriest prince. Who would dare run an angriest prince build in the year 2021? Insanity, right? Um, yeah, we don't need the sustain. If anything, we just kill this guy to do more damage onto Seraph. Looking very, very solid. A hundred four spikes doing. 208 damage. We are now at the point where only this guy is surviving the spikes damage. That's insane. And then he just gets beaten by the prince. Everybody's now dying to spikes except for this guy because he doesn't attack. 280 spikes damage. Get Frickin', oh my gosh, we're losing 35 net HP onto Seraph. Get obliterated. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. I mean... What can I say? Uh, craziness. Absolute craziness. Oh, man. So, i got to think through this. How are we going to win? How are we going to win this fight? A 
Okay, this is tricky. This is tricky because of how these guys are working. So what we're gonna do, you can't play Prince on the bottom. You gotta play Prince in the middle. It does mean four extra damage, which is kind of annoying, but I think this is necessary. Get the armor. Go like this, go like this. We're gonna play you out. You have, you have a time limit, basically. And we're gonna torch. We gotta torch because we need to be able to kill the guys with spikes, which is very difficult. We are now killing two of them. I'm not 100% sure how. Oh, because the, the spikes do doubles. Yes, the spikes do double damage. That's amazing. Okay. Totally forgot about the double damage. Okay, this is when we gotta play at least one one horn stone. It's a good time to do it as well. So we go one, two, three, four, five. I don't think so. I think survivability is not a problem. We get so much. I mean, look at this. Almost this entire floor is dying to spikes. I'm gonna do a third strike. That will kill this last guy. Look at that. Absolutely insane. The boss, the mini boss is going down. He cannot survive. And we're there. 104 armor. Get freaking wrecked. Can you believe it? Angriest Prince soloing divinity and all of the waves in the year 2021 just get freaking obliterated <laughs> i don't want the welder helper to die the Welder Helper dying doesn't actually do as much for us as just straight up playing the Sharpens. And flying kill on Divinity. Flying kill on Divinity. Angriest Prince build. Holy crap. Wow. No words, guys. Even I was a little bit skeptical that we could make this work as... I'm certainly, like, we got all the things. So, take it, you know, we got all the things. <laughs> but, despite having all the things, I think, actually, uh, there were even better ways to play this. We could have kept the Animus alive by playing the Welder Helper up top every other time. Sick. Let me just update now. So we started Hellhorned. I don't remember about what time. I'll have to go back and fix it. I think it was around maybe one minute in. It was Hellhorned. And now we are at about 48 minutes for Awoken. Okay.